Hello, Buttercups! My name is HustleC and welcome back to Factorio. Where last time we have built up this logistic hub uh, where we only deliver raw ores or uh, in case uh, raw liquid or liquid. I'm unsure how liquid could be raw uh, but as you can see we have coal we have iron ore we have petroleum we don't have any copper ore and that's pretty essential if you want to have any circuits and the reason for that um, is in our system we have not yet hooked up any copper or fill and I think that the closest one is is this here so we probably should go ahead and extend our um, our uh, rail network so we can get to this copper field hook it up uh, probably pretty similar to to this one multiple loading station and maybe a bit uh, a better waiting bay area but the we do have our book with tileable rails um so let's grab one um, we want to have this one here there 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 and then we also have to figure out here we have um, a radar so that means here is none but over here we should have one and as we don't yet have any robots uh, this next part is rather on the tedious side and uh, ripping out all the the trees that are in the way of our rail network and placing down the the rails um, as we go along so i will not bore you with that um, just uh, uh, go ahead clean er, clear everything up uh, uh, and place down the rails and then we can actually see how we can um, come up with a, with a proper uh, ore field for, uh, for the copper. So hopefully see you just in a bit. I have extended the rail grid up here to our copper ore uh, field or the, the nearest one not completely filled in the grid because it's quite a nuisance uh, doing that manually so uh, uh, I am hoping to get some some robots uh, pretty soon to help me with that but here we are at the at the ore field and the way I think this could work out well it's partially covered by the by the roundabout and the, and the rail um, but we still could do something like this or space it even more out and then have some more going there and of course have this on opposite sides uh, this will not work but once everything is mined out here in this one we can probably um, switch things around to get the last ores out 
or we just move to another ore field because I would imagine at at that point um, uh, we would uh, have quite the extensed extensive grid so we have here there and then here with a bit of underground if i would have any and that's basically oh yeah up here we have another half belt that we then can weave together into one loading station and as this is really just in one corner of the whole square I think uh, we can go on to the rail here of course not enough uh, rail pieces but basically coming back on here then have the the loading station here and then we have quite a bit of space for some waiting base i think three will do but uh, uh, probably uh, i want to to make them a bit nicer than uh, uh, what I have down here uh, this is all just a bit thrown together due to the, the the space constraints that that we have here so let me get grab some more rails and uh, uh, put together the loading station as well as the waiting base everything is hooked up now we have our ore field we have one line of cop ore that's coming out loading into chests and then onto one train uh, currently we don't have more but we have a stacker here for four additional trains so this means this train station can have a train limit of five one in the station and four waiting for going into the station and the train is set up to go from here uh, down to the copper ore delivery and all we have to do is send it on its way and then let's head down there and see uh, if uh, with the copper or delivered we actually have everything to uh, get our first factory going we are producing copper we are producing green circuits however at the moment uh, we have not enough copper uh, to uh, have any excess so it would go into the red circuit production but that's not really a problem here because eventually the green circuits will back up which means uh, this factory will no longer uh, require copper uh, and uh, we then have copper going further down and I am hoping that over time uh, we can manage a, a better balance there. Um, so we get a tiny bit of red circuits and uh, then some, some green circuits. And we don't need a huge amount of, of red circuits here. We need some um, for 
these insurgents. Uh, and then... Where do we have more? Uh, yeah, probably for the next level of uh, of the assembly machines. But I am hopeful that this will all work out in the end. And uh, there comes the next train, and now we can see how to how to proceed. Uh, one of the next step is probably a similar setup for all our rail infrastructure. Um, should be a bit easier. Need stone, steel, iron, green circuits. However, we don't need any coal in in that we would only need coal for smelting so what i am trying to achieve before taking that step is uh, making the the step to the uh, electric furnace and for that we need 250 um, blue signs the chemical signs um, so we can uh, unlock that and chemical signs that's not terribly difficult we need a bit of uh, red circuits we need a bit of uh, sulfur and we need engine units and these are basically all parts that we have somewhere red circuits are here so um, if we wait long enough, we should get uh, the red circuits um, out of this system that we need. And then just over here on this side, um, where we have our cliff explosives production, we also have um, sulfur. Uh, if we look how much sulfur, that's one for two chemical signs so if we uh, want 250 we need 125 so let's just stockpile that here and then engines there we need two for two that's 250 um, engines and we had at our uh, starting point where we have uh, our, our initial setup, our labs and so on. There we also have uh, basically one assembler that I feed manually to get the, uh, the engines. So let's see if we need more or where we stand there. Um, as I have been uh, in anticipation of uh, this, um, I have stockpiled a bit. Uh, 200, 200. Yes, we do have enough. We can, of course, uh, feed in more here because over time we will also need engines for more uh, locomotives. So. Actually, only thing we are waiting now is um, the red circuits. And we need three for two. So that's um, 250 plus 125, that's 375. So that's quite a bit, but if we uh, wait long enough and also let the red circuits um, uh, pile up on the uh, belt, we should get that. And probably further down the line, 
we also want to have uh, uh, something uh, some red circuits in our pocket so we can craft things uh, as as we go along uh, but here you can see the the green circuits here are beginning to to stockpile here not so much uh, because of course uh, we need to uh, build all or fill this chest first before we stop uh, consuming uh, and of course the yellow splitters also require some so it will take a while until we get there and see some red circuits um, but it should only be a matter of time and maybe can we squeeze in two more of these that should also help a bit with uh, the the copper production i mean if we look at this um that's the what we what we plan to have basically one per second and to achieve that uh, we would need uh, 450 furnaces for iron uh, and over 100 for for copper so basically i scaled this down to have 24 for iron and that would mean basically this is a is a quarter if we have 24 there uh, then we would have six for copper and um, and uh, one or two for for steel that should be sufficient okay let's wait until we get those red circuits so we can handcraft the chemical signs and finish the next research I did change the setup a bit up here, so we uh, grab a bit of copper and uh, put it back on the belt here at the end. And that basically allows the red circuit production to start even while the green circuit production is not yet backed up. Because otherwise we would have uh, green backed up we produce some red ones but then we need to produce more green ones because they are also needed for the red ones and this way uh, we actually produce more of the red ones than we need and the greens are a bit lacking behind but this factory setup is not really about uh, producing huge amounts uh, if uh, we run into issues where we have not enough uh, of the materials we can go about and just um, open up the chests so we stockpile more when we need them and can let this thing run on the side as it is i had forgotten some inserters here to grab some materials but now everything is um is fully fully built all the chests are full uh, at least as far as they want to be and we do have quite a bit of uh, red circuits here uh, i need 375 um, that's more than that so that should be sufficient together with the uh, other materials to craft those uh, chemical science packs and uh, finish the advanced material research but if we manage to do that uh, we will see in the next episode uh, where we will tackle something else um, mainly I think the, uh, the production set up for relate uh, rail related stuff 
So hope you enjoyed this one and tune in next time for more Factorio. Until then, goodbye.